everyone, in this video I will be going over how to get the Black Spindle, which is the exotic version of the Black Hammer, which is a legendary sniper rifle you can get from the Crota Raid. The best time to get this weapon is when the Daily Heroic mission is the Lost to Light mission from the Taken King expansion. I've gone ahead and fast forwarded from the beginning part of the mission to get right into the important details. Guardian down. We are going to lose her. After you get the first two doors open, you will run towards the third door, but do not bother to grab the relics as you will not need to open that door. Instead, when you turn the corner, you will see a door opening all the way in the back of the room. This door will lead you to the Trader's Catch, where you first encounter Tanix in the Shadow Thieves Strike from the House of Wolves expansion. Note, if you take too long, that door will close. You will only be able to scan the door with your ghost, which will then tell you that you have just missed a Fallen and you pretty much just have to end the mission. Strange. I'm My fire team consisted of two warlocks using the Stormcaller subclass and one titan using Sunbreaker and Defender subclass which will be used when facing the boss at the end. The main things I had set up on my loadout was a solar shotgun for the devoured knights that you come across and my heavy machine gun for the black orbs that spawn adds. The two other fire team members made sure to have their swords in order to take down the lieutenants you encounter throughout the whole uh, mission and will also play a big part when dealing with the final boss. Once you enter the trader's catch and hear Varix's voice briefing you on the situation, you will notice a timer start to count down on the top left. This will be the timer you will need to keep an eye on while you're clearing out the rooms in order to get to Drivix, the final boss. So it is critical to clear rooms at a good pace and try not to die too many times because that will eat away at the time you will have left to face Drivix and his people in the final room. This next room is important to clear quickly because it can easily take up much of the time you have left. There will be two or three tortured wizards which have void shields and a gallery of taken vandal snipers up at the top and various other taken enemies throughout. Don't worry too much if your whole team goes down. The mission will not end but you will lose time for waiting to self respawn or be respawned by your teammate.
Once you clear that room, you will want to try to still have six or more minutes still left on your counter, as any less time will be cutting it too close to killing Drivix and the other taken enemies in the final room before the timer ends. Once you reach this point, the best plan of action is to start clearing the black orbs and adds on both sides of the room, so there aren't so many enemies spawned in when you start focusing on Drivix. It is good to use your super during this part in order to provide orbs for the Defender Titan, which will need his Ward of Dawn so that the two guardians using their swords can attack Drivix within the bubble to overload him, and protect themselves from the Devoured Knights and other enemies attacking them. During the same time, the third person should be focusing on taking down the other enemies and black orbs so that the room doesn't get overwhelmed with too many enemies. By this time, Drivix should be very low on health if you have slashed away at him with your swords and the help from the Titan's Ward of Dawn. If you plan on setting weapons of light for your Ward of Dawn, it can help, but not by a lot. Now you can all place your sights on killing Drivix while also killing any other enemies throughout the way, as this mission and receiving your Black Spindle depends on you killing both Drivix and his crew before the timer ends. If not, the mission will end and you will be sent back to orbit just like the Nightfalls previous to the Taken King expansion.
As the last enemy is killed, you will get that glorious message saying you have found the black spindle, which will also award you a grimoire card. Don't worry if you don't see the message, as your special inventory might be full, and your new sniper rifle will be delivered to your postmaster. As you can see, one of my fire team members also received the Vienna Singer ship. This is not a definite drop like the black spindle, so do not be mad if you don't get one. You will also get legendary marks for this mission if you haven't already done it on any of your other characters. When you receive the black spindle through this mission, it will automatically drop at 310. If you get the weapon during any other scenarios, that is not guaranteed. And if you rebuy it with the legendary marks, it will be at 290. There's also a post in the forum stating that this weapon will probably get adjusted to 290 as it was a bug that was causing it to drop at 310. So you already know the Bungie forums are blaze about that. Alright everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you get your own black spindle. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you just enjoyed watching, please hit the thumbs up on the video. You can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash illusion927 or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can also find me on Live from PlayStation. Thanks for watching.